Yeah, totally. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Plus here with some time to go. Whole Cake Island Brook gameplay. Now he is a green runner. Oh, getting a call. But now he's a green runner. You can run him. He's got very high HP, very high defense. In this case, we're going to be running full attack defense. Shout out to my boy Sanctuary from my Wet Puss Alliance. And we'll be killing it. This is actually one of the most annoying runners to deal with. And it's actually straight up obnoxious. Now your skill one is this Swallow Bander roll. It actually, it doesn't do damage. Like this is not your main damage DPS kind of runner. But he's very obnoxious with status effects. So he has that freeze on that skill one. And this Soul King ability. He goes, he summons this big spirit his sole thing that he uses in the anime that you see in Whole Cake Island is like a big zombie thing and it just stuns and repeatedly stuns and it removes attack buffs and every time he removes attack buffs he heals and we'll get to that later now we're granted you are not doing a bunch of damage so people like Roger you're kind of good against but also you're not good against because Roger can't be stunned so you're not necessarily going to be killing Roger but you'll be very annoying for Roger you'll constantly be removing his attack buff and you'll be reducing it but let's dive into the trait. So when dealing damage with three hits of a normal attack, 50% chance to inflict freeze is short. That's actually super obnoxious, and you can actually infinitely stack it. Nullify shock and nullify stolen heart. That's fine. When attacking an enemy with two skills, remove enemy's attack increase. That's what I'm saying. When removing an enemy's parameter, boost it with character trait. Recover HP by 15% and speed by 10%. So he's so annoying to catch, and it's obnoxious. When your HP is more than 70%, boost your capture speed by 50%. And when you capture the treasure, reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 30% and recover HP by 15%. As well as when you have less treasure secured, your skill one will be boosted by 50%, which makes it up more. And then when you're above 70% HP, you will have 30% damage reduction. Now, here's the support that we're going to be running. is the runner part of me. See, Captain Grand Line, reduced damage from greens, hence the Roger. And worst generation, so you get a little bit of knockback. Uh, that doesn't really, really help you that much with Brooke, because you don't really have knockback. But it's you. All right, y'all, here we go. We got ourselves a couple EX on our team. Oh, look at that. It's actually like 60 EX in the game total. Look at how fast Brooke is just because of Odin, honestly. But, like, he's actually kind of bamboozled. Like, you got Kaido, you got Roger, you got Akainu. Now, Akainu is probably one of the main people I would think would be an issue for Brooke because Akainu doesn't necessarily rely on his attack buff. But, and it's literally just the incinerate. So, that's the one thing I can see bamboozling him. But, look at, like, how tanky you actually are. It's disgusting. And if you stay on top of Roger, you're actually going to constantly be getting heals. And, Mainly, if you find people like Jack, I thought Jack would destroy him because I completely forgot about the heal when you remove attack buff traits. But like Jack actually can just bamboo him. Like, look at how little damage you take from Roger just because the reduction of attack. And then this skill is so awkward to dodge, so you just freeze people, you leave them there, and then you can just potentially freeze them again if you get that third hit. Now we're probably gonna die here, not even, just kidding, because we're infinitely tanky. But we actually die from the skill one after. But like, oh, I don't know if that we're dead from that skill too. Like, holy moly. So, honestly, Roger dead easy. Bro, now this unit I, I, is just so undervalued just because it can be so annoying. Now, how many hits did we just take from Roger when we just died there? Now, yes, I was kind of hyping him up and stuff. Look at how annoying this is. Oh, my God. You can just sit here and freeze people. And then just stop. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. We're going to skill two. Boom. Bam. Stall. Stun. That's like, okay, so that was our two boosts, okay, but like, let, watch, we're gonna stun Odin here momentarily, or he's just gonna run away like a little snitch that he is. Like, boom, stun Odin. It lasts so long, and it's like impossible to fight him back if you don't have anti-stun. The only people that have like anti-stun are like Roger, Shanks, and I know there's a couple other people that I can't think of off the top of my head, but like, dude. And then you just heal and take flags, and you just obnoxious and just freeze! <laughs> Look at this, Roger about to have his attack reduced, so like Akainu and Roger ain't actually gonna be doing damage. So your little stunning dude does kind of help with the like Akainu infinity, but as you can see, we just get bamboozled like 900 damage per day. Jesus. So Akainu is like the main issue for when it comes to greens, obviously. It is what a doobie is. So, I don't, you literally with Brooke, you just sit there, you stall, you be annoying, and you don't actually, you're not like a main fighter. So if that's like your play style, and this is like how you be vibes it, look at this. He's just obnoxious. Now just wait for him to have a skill two. Oh, he's got another Roger there that's kind of like trolling. Okay, skill two. Boom. Boom. Stun. EZ. Watch, they're just going to have reduced attack too, so they're going to do no damage. That attack reduction actually is disgusting. You literally take no damage from it. Oh my god. Boom. And just like that, it's EZ finished. Game one, as you can see, it was the end of the game. We had another team boost. Now, he's not going to be your point booster. So, obviously, I'm pretty sure most of you just care about point boosting and just getting the best score and just getting the best everything. All right. So, here we are. Round two, baby. The best part about Brook is the fact that it's like a 
fat blue meta right now. So like, holy jeepers, watch this, dude. The skill one is actually just what I think just throws people off the most. Like the skill two, people don't expect it to be so slow, and the skill one actually kind of goes off deceivingly faster than most people would think. So look at you can just stall this title. Look at stun, boom, out of dragon form. Nice try, nerd. So that means no attack buff. That means no big flame of death. And then boom, you actually just gonna get the flag and just take it from Kaido. <laughs> Yikes, okay? Oh my god, this is why we hate this unit, because he's actually so obnoxious, and look at how long he can stall. And not only, see, that's the thing, you take the flag and you just run away, if you lose the flag, whoop de doo because you're going to be able to get it again. I'm gonna be honest. The only things that are like a major problem are probably like Sabo and Akainu. So really, you just sit here and you bamboozle, oh my god, you're not the fastest cap, right? It's okay, it is be what it is be. You can like, there's a variety of different like sets you could probably run on him. If you really want to run full HP defense, you can. But I, I'd prefer to start, like, running attack on stuff. Because if you don't run any level of attack, you're usually, like, going to never kill them. Like, this thing will actually kind of wither you down. You're not going one-shotting Andy. But what you do is you run defenders or other units or attackers or anything back and forth. First off, you get rid of their attack buffs. Which so many people have attack buffs. Luffy, Roger, Akainu, Luffy, <laughs> Jack. Like, literally so many meta characters. White Beard. That, that just like attack stack and so he just reduces their attack takes it away heals from it endlessly and there's the people who have the temporary attacks that's like like kaido who is it kaido who went else in this game right here i don't think captain kid does Rayleigh, i actually don't know if he does i don't think he does have an attack buff but my god it's just like the list goes on and on like i'm convinced it's like dang near impossible to lose with this kid now you're like literally i just like the only way to defeat this is like sabo and okay i'm pretty sure Obviously, a team boost doesn't count, but, like, yeah. So, if team boost happens, like, right now, this is, like, a little dangerous. This is probably where we want to run away. So, we're going to yeet up out of there. Like, we ain't finna be up in there. Mm -mm. I was like, hey, uh-uh. So, we finna go. We take the cap back cap. We finna be bamboozling. Oh, bro, we just a uh, power hump at that flat. Be like, uh, 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 yeah! And we get the flag, baby. This is a 5 0 Nice try, Golden God. Now, I'm going to be honest. My boy, Sanction Chance, actually got like a per like, perfect dodging. So, if you're a good perfect dodger and just like literally play this unit, you just perm stun people. It's so tilting. Oh my god, why? Just uh, look at not even the Golden God invincible factor can do anything here. Get, look at this. This is like we almost 5 0 the last round. And here we are, so it's about to be 5 0 in this round. <laughs> Now, what sucks is Luffy can't be stunned when he's, like, full HP, but if you, like, get a couple stuns on him, he's gonna be low enough HP. And then he's just gonna get stunned, and he's gonna get stunned out of a thing. Oh, my God. And so we just bamboozle. Free wins. You want free wins? Boom. Just take time skip broke. Whole Creek Island. I don't know why I call him time skip broke. That's the wrong unit. But, look, 5,800 score. Like, not bad. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. Hey, let's go. Shout out. Thanks, Chan. He's a drawer. Like, make sure to check out his art. Just check out his art. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ooh, that's fancy. <laughs> All right, let's go nighttime Barati. Oh, we got double EX Luffer. We about to finna show y'all the real demonstration about who the real EX unit is. Because I'm convinced this is broke. This is disgusting. I, mm -mm. This and Oravi, actually. That's a personal, like, bias opinion. But, you know. So, look at... Oh, God, get this done because it's below 97%. The, oh, get whopped by Roger. Yeah, nice try, Luffer Senpai. I think not. Dude, and then, boom, yeet up out of there. Dude, the fact... The, that this ability just covers so much ground just makes him ungodly factor like he's just disgusting you just go zooming you freeze you yeet up out of there and then you take the next flag up next door because ain't nobody finna go stop you because they sit in there frozen for like 10 years so if you run warlords with this even though there's not really green warlords like you have like you hug and get them more so i think you only really have two so you have to go four off color which makes your support super low which make it really terrible so watch out for that if you don't know what i just said check out my support guide videos it's in there just type it <laughs> so Anyways, dude, God, Brooke is so gross. This is disgusting, dude. Is this another just straight 5-0? Now, this is why it's painful to play against this. I actually just can't stand this. And no one knows how to play against it either. This is, like, the best part about playing it is the fact that people don't play against it often enough, so they don't know when to dodge the skill 1. They don't know when to dodge the skill 2 initial, like, cast. And then after that, they don't really know how to, like, just dodge into the ability. Some people do. Some people get lucky. But... Most of the time, you're going to be safe. Is this going to be another 5-0? Like, Jesus. Oh, it's Akainu. Okay, so Akainu. See, we know that we see the Akainu, we turn, we yeet. Because that's one person that's, like, actually kind of difficult to fight against. Because homeboy's just... EX abuser. Z, Z, Z. Just is doobie what it is doobie. Oh my god, Shirohige. Okay, I'm gonna call BS on that hit. That was a little nonsensical, if you ask me. Wow, Whitebeard damage, everybody. Give it up, Whitebeard damage. 
White bear damage looking kind of clean, teacher. Wow, okay. White bear about to just die. Okay, he has super reduction to freeze, though, so that's kind of a perk. So, white bear kind of has some things going for him, except, well, he can't get out of the stun, so never mind. Yeah, white bear's just doomed here. White bear will never kill that, because. And what sucks about white bear is he has to use the skill one to stack. Oh my god, no. Team boost. Everybody, team boost. It doesn't count. It does not count. All right, here we go. It looks like we're just spawning as Mihawk. We just rolling in. We only got 45 seconds left. It is doobie what it is doobie. So, oh my god, we got photographers up in here. <laughs> We've been to come out as Mihawk, baby. I think I, the game's already like, well, there's very much time to lose this game. But like, I think we actually got it pretty locked down. We'll see if there's like some kind of runner. They don't have a runner out on the field. So the enemy team is unlikely to win this game. Unless they go and one-shot everyone. So Roger's the only person that can do that. Akainu might incinerate people to death. But we got Akaido alive, so that's not happening. Oh, we might lose the top flag. Unless we lose the top flag. Hello, Nani. Oh, no, that's not happening. <laughs> Never mind, Rouge. Hey, Rouge ain't getting that. That's the the luck of a defender. That's always the pain of a defender. When you spawn with like 30 seconds left and you're a defender and you're down on flags, you're not going to win the game. That's all I'm saying. Because you're not going to take the flag. Choo! 80 true is in the chat. Oh my god, look at that score. Holy shit, Brooke is disgusting. All right, you guys, that is my whole kick island, Brooke. Shout out Sanctuary. Make sure I'm gonna see if I got any links to his art. I'm gonna grab those from him. I'm gonna like check those and put those in the description below or pin it in the comments. So make sure you check out his art. He's actually a very good artist and stuff, so he's got some unique stuff going. So shout out to him for the gameplay. Thank you all so much. That's the wet puss pirates, baby. We out here. That's my alliance for those of you that don't know. But make sure you also check out my Twitch and my Discord down below. If you want to join those, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of Brook down below. I think he's like a solid, I'm going to be honest, I think he's like a solid like 8.5 out of 10. He's still very good. No one plays him. No one summoned for him. No one maxed him. It's just, it's what it is. So he's like, that's the like niche that he has going for him, to be honest. So let me know what y'all think down below. I'm your boy, Puss. I'm going to be taking off. Hopefully, we have a fantastic night, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, holy. Peace, beautiful people.